up guys we are in the Jeep today we are gonna go winch out an f-250 they got stuck in a backyard uh, buddy of mine called me said it's been stuck there for a, a day or two I think um, said it's pretty stuck um, probably gonna have to anchor ourselves off to a tree and try to get this thing where we can pop up out of there probably snatch block down a couple times so we will see what we got here in a minute thanks for watching guys all right, so we just pulled up here. Got the Jeep there. My buddy's side by side there. Let's see if we can find where they're at. I think they're back here trimming trees. What's up? Am I good to walk through here or something's gonna fall on me? You go right <laughs> so this is it, huh? How's it going guys? Alright. Yeah. Pretty uh pretty spongy. I got my big road. I've, I've got I brought all my rigging too so I'd really I'd like to stay pretty far back anyway I could I can run it down to I could like go four to one if I needed to to get I shouldn't need to but no, it's, it's like it's barely tight it I'm looks like it kind of moves well it, they have they, they move it back and forth yeah but right now it's in a pumpkin right so. get it up out of there and you'll be good yeah okay where do I need to Come in at. Come in between that garage and this house. Come in through here. Okay. Follow them tracks, basically. Well, yeah. you don't need to do that. Just straight through there. Turn okay. I can do that. Let me uh, let me pull the jeep in real quick. All right. Get out some rigging here. Rigging a basket. One of these. Try right, this one through the uh, tow hooks. Shouldn't need any of my kinetic ropes. And, uh, get a couple of my soft shackles. And our recovery ring. room I need to get anchored off to that tree back there. I should have plenty of rigging. Plus I've got my chocks and everything if I need them. Set my remote right there. You, don't, you haven't seen it in person, have you? What's that? Yeah, no, it, that, as soon as I, I I started pulling up right there and I felt it kind of, in two-wheel drive, I felt it kind of start slowing me down. Okay, well, that, I can I can float across some stuff and that's, and that, uh, yeah. Well, I'm going to go across both tow hooks. Yeah, you can go ahead and pull that one out. Or are they going to be long enough? Mm, it should be more than long enough. See if it comes up back to this one. You can just hook off both this way. Good. I would really rather... Yeah. I would ba I'd rather basket it than straight pull it anyways. That's where it gets fun. Right. Making that turn. <laughs> God dang. Bring it down to the bottom. Let's 
funny, as soon as you, as soon as you uh, talk to you, you're, I guess you're on the way over here. DJ called me. Ouch. He sent me a message. I like crawfish. Alright. So, a girl I know named Tracy Bass. That stuff ended up working there. I need to pull my winch cable out. I get all 125 feet of cable out. It's that way I can have full capacity. That's actually just been rebuilt. It's just a really high speed pull. It's actually not too bad there. Alright. It's good enough there. Where the soft shaft will go. Too much water, What's that? So you spend way too much water, Not enough. Yeah. Not enough yet. This barely got started. What size are you going to do next? Well, I mean, if I have my way, I'll get a, I'll do 44 inch boggers. So, but I'm gonna do tons and. So look at that real quick. Twisted. Oh, so, go to that side. side. If you don't want to, all I gotta do is go down there and reflip it. Nah, you're good. It doesn't really matter. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and back up, get that tight. That way I can. Let me. Before I anchor myself, I'm gonna try to use my chalks. Strap. I don't think this thing is stuck as bad as it really looks. down because <laughs> this Jeep is a standard I've got the parking brake set we are gonna go ahead and give this a shot see if I need 
my uh, anchor. and easy. Just had to get my wheel chocks to bite in there. Nice and easy. Duty cycle my winch a little bit. Normally don't like running them as hard as I am, but it doesn't have there's a whole lot of load on it right now. Catch another soft spot there. Digging in again. back a little bit would be good start getting him back over this way moving under his own power now power now. Gonna try to get it out the rest of the way. Gonna try to idle out the rest of the way. I'll re-school this later. Just throw it on the back there. I appreciate it. I did it.
I really hate that thing. I wonder why it's a 360. I didn't realize that camera Yeah. Appreciate it. Me, uh, I'm gonna back up off my chocks real quick. Well, I actually made those for an old Jeep that I had. Oh, okay. That's why I was just telling him I want to make a, a bigger set of them now. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, man, just set them up here, y'all. Worry about putting those up when I know we're out of here. All right, I'm just gonna back straight up, and I'll let you. Uh, don't back straight. Don't back straight up. Okay. That's soft. That's real soft spot there. Okay. Me, I'll turn and go that way then. I can't see, but he's idling out in front of us now. A little soft spot there. Making our way out here. it got it done all right we got that one done got them out didn't really have too many issues was able to get it get it out of there without tearing up their yard or anything too much uh, it's pretty soft and muddy back there so glad we were able to get it out without too much issues and they were able to get on with their with their uh, tree job they got out there so we are about to jump back in the Freightliner and get on doing some other calls. So, appreciate you guys for watching. If you would, please subscribe, like, and share. Super excited. Just got done unboxing an order I got from Yankum Ropes. I got a bunch of goodies here to put on Nidox. Uh, got two of their 1 inch by 30 kinetic ropes, which is going to be nice. I can soft shackle those together and have up, you know, 60 foot of just kinetic rope out on something if I need. Uh, really excited. I got one of their uh, 3 8 by 100 foot winch lines. Um, and then a 100, 100 foot and two 50 foot winch extensions uh, to go along with the their new XL uh winch rings which these things are absolutely massive and if you haven't seen some of their stuff they have out on these they uh make it to where you can with just those two snatch blocks i can go down four or five to one on the uh on my winch just by using those two rings how they operate I'll have some videos and stuff on that coming up here soon. Also got a couple of their uh, double loop soft shackles. So these are extra long so I can use the, I can double these up for when I'm going, you know, getting my uh, snatch blocks down, you know, four to five to one. Also got one of the uh, 
grooved fair leads to replace the fair leads I've got on it right now because these winch lines have just a loop on the uh, end of the uh, winch line instead of having like a thimble or putting like a hook or a you know a, a shackle or something on the end of it so it eliminates all the metal in the winching system so it's a lot safer to use that way so super excited to uh, get to use this stuff so be looking for that in future videos